three, four points instead of the two. All right. So that is it in terms of corrections. Thank you for your patience. At the end of the first round, here are the scores. Man Kransu Senior High School has eight points. St. Thomas Aquinas Senior High School has 10 points. Ghana National College has 14 points. Now, before we move to the next round, Ghana National College would like to effect a substitution. Atempo, it's been a pleasure having you. Best wishes to you. Now on comes Cyril. You're welcome, Cyril. Settle in. We're about to begin. Round two. In this round, we have the Trasta AI Speed Race. So the Speed Race is sponsored by Trasta AI, your real world experience. Thank you very much, Trasta AI. So round two. In this round, the questions are going to be directed to all three schools simultaneously for an opportunity to answer a question, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell? Mancraso, thank you. Yours, thank you. And yours? All right. If you ring an answer correctly and it's the first attempt, you get three points. If you answer correctly on the second attempt at the question, two points. And if you answer correctly on the third attempt at the question, one point. However, you must be aware of certain things. If you attempt to answer a question and you are unsuccessful, it comes with a penalty point. So be careful. Additionally, it's called the speed race, meaning that you cannot be delaying us. When you ring and you are called upon to answer, you have three seconds to provide an answer. If you do not meet that time, you will hear a bell. May I hear that bell? When you hear that bell, that means whatever you are saying at the time is your answer. And it's most likely incorrect, which fetches the penalty. That means when you are called upon, get straight to the answer. No, madam. Yes, I'm madam. No, we have elongated. We have. Doesn't work. That's not an answer. Get straight to the point. Do not repeat the question. Answers. That's what I'm in for. Okay? Best wishes to all three schools. This first set of questions will require 30 seconds of your time each. First one. A sample of iron ore contains 28.0% iron. Calculate the percentage of pure Fe2O3 in the sample. Atomic mass for iron is 56.0. Yes, Anthony. It is 19.0. Six percent. That's incorrect. Ransford. Um, eighty one point zero percent. That's incorrect. 
the right answer is 40.0%. Next one. At 900 degrees Celsius, the decomposition of sulfur trioxide to sulfur dioxide has equilibrium constant of 0.10. If at equilibrium, the concentration of SO3 is equal to 0.60 mole per decimeter cubed, and the concentration of O2 is 0.025 mole per decimeter cubed. Yes, Anthony. It is 1.3 mole per decimeter cubed. That's incorrect. Calculate the concentration of sulfur. Yes, Ransford. Uh, two. Point four mole per decimeter cube. That's incorrect. The concentration of sulfur dioxide. Yes. Augustine. 1.2 mole per cubic decimeter. Yes. <laughs> Next one. What is the molecular formula of a compound that contains 66.6% .6 carbon, 14.0% hydrogen, and 19.4% nitrogen if its molar mass is 144.26 gram per mole. Yes. C Maxwell. C nine H twenty O. That's incorrect. Hmm. The right answer is C8, H20, N2. Next set, 10 seconds each. Why do myelinated nerve fibers appear white in color? Yes. So this, this is due to the presence of the Myelin sheet and the myelin sheet consists of lipids and other glyco, glyco, glycolipids and other carbohydrate substance. This makes it appear white. Okay, I will accept it. <laughs> yes, the myelin is white because of the high lipid content, right? The high lipid content. Actually, Myelin has 70 to 80 percent lipid content. Did you know that? Okay, so you've learned something today, right? Uh huh. And the lipid is what is making it look white. All right. Next one. What name is given to a condition that occurs when the lungs cannot remove enough carbon dioxide from the body? leading to an increase in acidity in the blood. Yes, Herbert? Acidosis. Acidosis. That's incorrect. Ah, you're on the right track. There are different types of acidosis, okay? So the right answer is respiratory acidosis. There is also another type called metabolic acidosis, which comes from conditions like diabetes, kidney disease, and so on. We wanted the one that had to do with respiratory. So it's respiratory acidosis. All right. 
A flower was found to have inconspicuous petals, a long feathery stigma, and small light pollen grains. All right? It is pollinated by wind, or it undergoes wind pollination. Pollination by wind, anemophily. I better move on. (laughs) What is the significance of the long feathery stigma? Yes, Ransford. The long feathery stigma allows pollen grains to attach to the the hair on the feathery stigma. Since the pollen grains that blow over the area of the flower attach themselves to the long feathery stigma for pollination to occur and fertilization to occur. In. Yes. <laughs> Next set, 30 seconds each. First one. And th- sound. Find the focal length of a biconvex glass lens whose surfaces have radiuses or radii of magnitudes 18 centimeter and 24 centimeter if the lens is used in air at a wavelength at which the refractive index of the glass is 1.49. The right answer is 21 centimeters. Next one. A resistor network is composed of a 1.9 ohm resistor in series with a parallel connection of a 3.0 ohm resistor and a 7.0 ohm resistor. Find the power dissipation of the network when connected to a battery of EMF, 12 volts. Yes, uh, Herbert. 36 watts. Pardon? 36 watts. That's incorrect. Who rang next? Yes, Anthony. 36 watts. No. Did you also ring? Yes, go ahead. I have 18 watts. No. Ah, this was a case where you needed to be patient, huh? You are trying to second guess or figure out what consultant is thinking. All right, so let me finish this, uh, the question and then I'll give you the answer. When connected to a battery of EMF 12 volts and internal resistance 2.0 ohm, without that information, everything else is miracles. Okay, so the right answer is 24 watts. All right, next one. According to the Bohr model of hydrogen, what is the energy of the level for which angular momentum equals 3 h bar? Negative 1.51 electron volts. You are right. Last set. Find the coordinates reflection coordinates of the points of inflection of the curve y is equal to 3x squared minus 1 over x squared. 
And uh, what answer did you give me? One, two. You stopped there, right? Uh huh. And I said, I went. Zero, comma, negative one. Okay. And I said, no, no, no. All right. Is that all right? Okay. The right answer two points, two points with coordinates one, two, and negative one, two. All right. Next question, 30 seconds. Find the first three terms in the expansion of the expression 1 minus 2x, this expression raised to the power 10. Yes, Ransford. The first term is 1. The uh, second... uh, uh, uh. Who rang next? Yes, Mancraso, go ahead. So, uh, 1 minus 20x plus 180x squared. You are right. I warned you, do not repeat the question back to me. You use up your three seconds doing that. All right, last question of the round. 30 seconds. Find the coordinates of the final image point when the point A with coordinates 2, 5 is successively reflected first in the origin and then in the point... Wow, go ahead, eh? Yes, uh, Ransford. Negative 2, comma, 1. No. In the point P with coordinates negative 3, 2. Yes. Herbert. Negative four comma nine. Yes. And that's the end of the speed race.